Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today I am going to talk about the policy structure for property and casualty insurance policies. First and foremost, what do you mean by policy structure? Every time when you get an insurance policy, it can be homeowners or personal auto, you will be given a form like which is a contract that you can use whenever there is a claim. Now the contract as a list of you no know, documents in this following you no know, sequence the first page is declaration page so if you take the declaration page it has unique specific details about you the insured like named insured name of the insured and what is the location we are trying to insured insure and the overall premium for that particular policy right and what are the limits it goes on like the details that are specific to you so the second uh, section will be definitions right so definitions are very important because it's going to say for each of the wording or each of the defin each of the terminology that is used within that contract what is the meaning for it for an example if you say who is insured the definition section will say anyone who stays in that home like he can be the named insured or a spouse or any relatives immediate relatives or their dependents so the definition session is very important that clarifies the meaning for each of the terminology that is used within the document the third one is the insuring agreement which is more or less the essence of that contract right it's going to elaborate what is the coverage form like what are the cause of loss like it's going to be basic broad or special like no and then basically it's the essence of the promise that the insurance company is giving to the insured right so if you take an example of homeowners it will say like what are the properties covered right and what are the additional coverages that they are going to provide and uh, what are the cost of loss sometimes policies can have special cost of loss which means anything is covered except those that are excluded so you have to pay a close attention to this particular session insuring agreement on top of it we have additional coverages additional coverages are a kind of complementary coverages i would say like you know when i say complementary like by default the insurance company is going to cover your building or personal property or loss of use on top of it they are going to give some additional coverages free of cost so one good example is preservation of property coverage if there is a loss and you have a property that you need to safeguard right for the further loss you can have that property in a temporary location so whatever the time period that you have kept until your building is recovered that time period will be taken care by the insurance company they are preserving the property to avoid further damage similarly debris removal if there is a loss and you have to clean up the pollutants across the you no know, your home or the, your property then they will give required coverage again there is a limit set up here right when it comes to additional coverages for every of this additional coverages they have some certain limit like $10000 or $15000 it goes on like that coverage extensions more or less coverage extensions is also like additional coverages but the only difference here is to avail this coverage extension you need to satisfy 80% of the coinsurance clause I think we have discussed coinsurance in our previous videos. You can uh, refer those. Like coinsurance is nothing but you need to have eighty percent of the coverage limit to avail this particular coverage extensions. One of the good example for coverage extension is say you have coverage for your building or a business. You have a business and you have a coverage for a building. Now that you are acquiring a new building, closer to your existing building, by default insurance company is going to cover that. Uh, for a certain limit like $25,000 or something like that so that is what we call it as coverage extensions conditions right so so in an insurance contract the insurance company have some conditions to comply with similarly the insurer have some conditions to comply with so when you take insu insured if there is a loss they need to report that loss within certain number of days if they don't comply with the condition the claim will not be paid when it comes to insurance company say if the if they want to cancel a policy they need to give 30 days in advance notice to the customer so 
there are a list of conditions like that. So the goal here is both the parties, insurer and the insured has to satisfy these conditions. Exclusions, it's a very important point, right? So, so every time when you get a policy, as a customer, it's very important for you to go through these exclusions because if the insurance company do not want to cover a particular hazard or a peril, they will have it under exclusions. One very common exclusion is flood, right? If you have a homeowner's policy, if you have a flood, most of the insurance companies don't kind of know, provide that coverage. So they will add it as part of exclusions. Similarly, they will add all their exclusions in that exclusion session. Endorsements. So we have a standard policy and we all know each, inch, each customer is unique based on the uniqueness of the customer. If they want a specific coverage that was not covered by the standard policy, they can use endorsement to add those coverages. Maybe say if you have a company, you have a commercial property and if you have a boiler machines and others where you need specific coverages to all those machines, then you can buy or have an endorsement called equipment breakdown, which means which will take care of those boilers if in case something happens to it. Similarly, you can add any number of coverages that way you have full coverage for your policy. Pretty much this is the structure of the policy. If you take any insurance policy that you have, it will follow the same sequence. Declaration page, which will talk about you know, your specific details, named insured, na name of the insured, premium, etc, etc. Then definitions, which will have specific elaboration about each of the terminologies used within that policy. Insuring agreement, which talks about the coverages that are given to the customer along with the perils, which is very important part of the policy. Additional coverages, which is kind of no additional complementary coverages, which is given free of cost with a certain specific limits. Coverage extension, similar to additional coverages, it's also a complementary coverages, but to get this coverages, you need to satisfy 80% of the coinsurance class. Conditions, both the insurance company as well as the customer have to satisfy some conditions to make this policy you know, active. Exclusions, like it's very important, every customer don't give all the required coverages. If they want to, to exclude some coverages, they will add it as part of exclusions. Endorsements, if a customer wants a specific coverage that is not covered as part of the existing policy, they can add endorsements to the policy. Again, just to make sure, endorsement is going to cost you additional premium based on the coverage. I hope you like my training videos. If you like my training videos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye.